Hello, my beautifuls. <laughs> no, I'm just hey, y'all, and welcome back to another video with me, Lee of Wine Down with Lee. As you saw from the thumbnail, we are going to get into these clip in extensions that I so dearly enjoy because I don't have to do much to my hair once I actually clip them in, except for sleep with a scarf on. You know, got to keep it laid and then come back and do a little touch up on the tips. But other than that, we are good to go. So, if you're interested in seeing how I clip my clip-ins in today, just keep watching. Who is that wow woman right there? <laughs> today I'm going to be doing a review. Well, not a review. Just clipping in my nappy hair extensions. I've had these extensions for about three years or so. And I've used them a couple of times. But I'm using them today because I felt like my hair was long enough when it's actually straightened. So that it won't look weird and, you know, stick out too far beyond where the hair actually, you know, extends. Um, so, uh, I start, of course, by parting my hair in the back because I want to clip them in the back. And if I need to adjust anything, I can always take the clips from the back and move them up top. Now, sometimes I will actually start from the front and then move to the back. But this time I just felt like, you know, that was not, I didn't need to do that basically. So you take your time, part it. I'm feeling my way through these parts because yeah, I can't see it <laughs> and I have no help. I'm by myself. Once I get everything parted in the back to where it feels like it's straight to me, which it felt like it was straight. I went ahead and put my hair into a ponytail to get the rest out of the way. And then I would, then I'm going to clip my clip ends in. Now I will tell you, I kind of straightened my hair a little bit too much because the clip-ins didn't have a place to actually clip in. Now, the clip-ins come in different sizes. That one's a three, I call it a three prong. It's probably not prongs, but I call them prongs, okay? That one's a three prong. I have um, three of those and I have, no, I have three of the two prongs, two of the three prongs, a two prong that is a little bit shorter than than such which I should have showed you guys all it is I'm so sorry and then I have a two four prongs and one five prong so yeah if you understood all that babble babble I, I cheers to you okay but just follow me just work with me so I just clipped those oh me chewing that gum girl get that gum out your mouth but me I'm just working the best way I can to clip them in but the clip was sliding in the back so I had to kind of hook it onto the hair. The, the I don't know how to ex explain this, but the hair that's coming down right now that you see dropping down right now, I had to hook it to like the hair to make it stay because it wouldn't stay to my roots because I had straightened them so well. I'm kind of proud of myself. You know, I straightened my hair real good on that. You know, it is what it is, you know. So, and then I just kind of repeat this process over until I get to the top uh, part of my head. I, um... Uh, and as you can see, I was trying to show y'all my part. It doesn't necessarily have to be straight. So don't be concerned about that. Okay. Because who's going to see it? Can you see my parts in my hair? Right. You know, no, you can't see them. So it doesn't matter, honey. We just trying to get them in so we can have a hairstyle so that we ain't got to do nothing. Okay. Because we, you know, we hair lazy. Um, once I get this, this is what, which one is this? Did I show you guys? That one is my five, that was my five prong, but it didn't work. So I went ahead and went down to the, I want to say the four prong, one, two. Okay, so here I'm clipping in the two prongs and I'm clipping them in on the side. And you see how it's coming off because my hair is so loose and gentle. Um, I ended up going back in and actually clipping them on an angle. And that seemed to have helped a little better because I had a little more hair up under... Up under the clip. So, yeah. But the only reason, like, when I put this onto my natural hair, it clipped just fine because, of course, my natural hair is th 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 thick. Okay. Okay. She thick. So, and then in the back, what I did was I went in with a four prong in the back to help it reach around to the other side. And then I went back in with the other two prong on the, what side is that? That is my left side. Mm -hmm. Yes, on my left side. <laughs> Layers, yeah. 
And that's me just trying to check to make sure they're gonna, them suckers going to stay in. Because, you know, you don't need to be getting no fight, girl. And somebody pull your hair and they come out and they think they're going to rip your scalp out. you like, uh-uh, sister. You ain't rip nothing over here but some uh, clip-in extension tracks, okay? Keep it pushing. I still got half under there. Girl, stop chewing that gum! Anywho, moving forward, on to the next. And we just keep moving on. Fast forward through all of this. Because y'all don't need to keep seeing me do the same process over and over again. Because you already know what I'm doing right now. I normally wear a middle part. But I think my middle, the middle part of my hair is thinning. So, yeah. I switched that to a side part. Okay? Yeah. And that's what we're doing. Once I got to the top. Because I just wanted it to blend in a little better. With the actual clip-in. Because before my hair was really, really short. Baby, that was... It was really sticking out like, um... Someone that had been shocked. And that wasn't cute. It wasn't cute. It wasn't cute. It wasn't cute. You know how it look when your hair don't match? It's not laying and it don't look good. Like, that's what it looked like. It don't look good, you know? It wasn't cute. It didn't look good. Or whatever the case may be. <laughs> but child, please, as I keep pushing through, pushing through, and we're going to clip that in, and we're going to unclip it. Because I wasn't liking where it was because I forgot I was going to do a side part. So I went ahead and put it on that one side. And then I put the two. Let me see. Do I get the little small two? Yes. The little small two is right there. And then the rest of that is just my hair. Now you want to leave a particular amount of hair out because, I mean, you don't want it to look unnatural. You don't want it to look horrible. You can leave as much hair out as you want. I just wanted mine to look more realistic than than not so i left a little more of my own hair to make sure one i was covering all of the tracks and two it just looked like my natural hair was growing out of my head you know there are no baby bands for me in this there is no laying your edges there is no smoothing my edges because to me this is my natural the natural state of my hair you know so if i wear it pulled back in a puff i'm not slicking my edges down and plus you know i really think my edges are kind of thin and I'm trying to work on those bad boys. You know, they you know, they coming back. They coming back. Girl, we doing some work on you. You're going to be all right. But, you know, I, I don't need to be laying them down and making them look even thinner with no, no hair gel product. You know what I mean? I don't need to lay them down and make them look even thinner with no hair gel product. You know what I mean? So, we just going to go natural. We're going to be in our natural state, honey. That's that's just what we got. Okay? So, I go in a little four squared and I'm going to cover that little piece up that you see right there. Don't worry about that. I'm going to get that. See? I, I can see a little bit from the top, you know. And we're going to lay it down. And once I finish laying that down, after I finish chewing this gum like a horse, goodness, I, I, I so much do not like that. And see, this is why I came back. See how I just did that piece in the front? This is why I came back and put them on an angle so that it would come more in my face and less... Um, it, the hair would marry up with the portion that comes in my face versus what's not in my face. So it wasn't like it's two separate entities. We need them to merge, marry, and look like they're one, okay? We need them to be like a, my, my analogy, like a grilled cheese sandwich, okay? We need them mashed together and showing love to one another because, you know, we want to look like we seen this over here. We want somebody like, oh, your hair is so pretty. Yes, it is. Thank you. I appreciate all of that. Okay? Okay. Now, moving forward, child, we're going to do the same old thing. Keep on uh, flat ironing until we get to the end. And chew gum like a horse. There we go. And in the front, I decided to go like a little over and over to the side. You know, I thought I was being a little fancy fancy. It's better together than apart, girl, because that's how we live. We better together, not apart. We are better together than apart, okay? Okay. And then I go off camera and come back and show you all my beautiful makeup, as you can see now. <laughs> this is the same look as the fall eye tutorial. Yeah, I have the blonde hair on. All right, y'all. I appreciate y'all watching the video. And if you made it to the end and you like what you saw or there was something that you learned from the video, although this was not a teaching video, <laughs> don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button on your way out. And come on back now, you here? All right, bye. <laughs>